Santorini Island has been suffering an unusual and threatening wave of earthquakes that can trigger a devastating tsunami. But did you know that where Santorini is located, in the Greek Aegean Islands, one of the earliest advanced civilizations in Europe was destroyed by a massive natural disaster? This is the story of the devastating end of the Minoan civilization. But this will happen again, so pay attention to the warning signs. It's a crisp morning on the island of Crete, and the sun rises over the ruins of Knossos, the ancient heart of the Minoan civilization. Archaeologists and historians have long been fascinated by this advanced society that thrived over 3,500 years ago. But today, we're not just studying the past, we're living it. Through a combination of cutting-edge technology and historical records, we're piecing together the final days of the Minoans, a civilization that vanished in a cataclysm so profound it reshaped the Mediterranean world. How could it be if they were so advanced? The air is thick with the scent of olive groves and the sea. The Minoans are at the height of their power, their palaces bustling with life. Knossos, the grandest of their cities, is a marvel of architecture and engineering. Its labyrinthine corridors, vibrant frescoes, and advanced plumbing systems are testaments to a society far ahead of its time. The Minoans are traders, artists, and sailors, their influence stretching across the Aegean and beyond. But beneath the surface, something is stirring. In the nearby island of Thera, modern-day Santorini, the earth has begun to rumble. The Minoans, deeply connected to the natural world, interpret these tremors as signs from the gods. Priests and priestesses perform rituals, offering goods to appease the deities. Yet the tremors grow stronger, more frequent. Fishermen report strange behavior in the sea, fish leaping from the water, waves crashing unpredictably. In Knossos, life continues as usual. Merchants haggle in the marketplace, artisans paint frescoes of dolphins and bull leapers, and children play in the courtyards. But in the palace, the ruling elite are uneasy. They've received reports from Thera of smoke rising from the island's central peak. The Minoans have no way of knowing that Thera's volcano is on the brink of one of the most catastrophic eruptions in human history. Could all of this be triggered by a massive solar event? The tremors have become impossible to ignore. In Thera, the ground shakes so violently that buildings collapse. The Minoans on the island flee to their ships, seeking refuge on Crete. They bring tales of ash falling from the sky and the sea boiling. In Knossos, the ruling class debates whether to evacuate the city, but the idea is dismissed. The Minoans have faced earthquakes before. They believe their gods will protect them. Meanwhile, the volcano on Thera continues to build pressure. The island's once fertile land is now a barren wasteland covered in ash. The Minoans on Crete can see the plume of smoke rising from Thera, a dark column that stretches into the sky. The sky is eerily beautiful, the painted in hues of strong red, blue and green. But the beauty is deceptive. It may hide the reason behind the earthquakes, a super solar storm, a Miyaki event. But the Minoans don't realize that the volcano is about to unleash its fury. The tremors have stopped, and an eerie calm settles over the region. In Knossos, the Minoans breathe a sigh of relief, believing the worst is over. But in Thera, the silence is ominous. The volcano is holding its breath, gathering strength for the final explosion. The Minoans on Crete go about their daily lives, unaware that their world is about to change forever. In the palace of Knossos, a young scribe records the day's events on a clay tablet. He writes of the tremors, the ash, and the strange behavior of the sea. Little does he know that his words will be one of the last records of the Minoan civilization. As night falls, the Minoans gather in their homes, sharing stories and praying to their gods. They have no way of knowing that this will be their final night of peace. 
At dawn, the volcano on Thera erupts with unimaginable force. The explosion is heard hundreds of miles away, and the shockwave ripples across the Mediterranean. A column of ash and pumice shoots into the sky, reaching heights of over 30 kilometers. The Minoans on Crete watch in horror as the sky turns black, blotting out the sun. Ash begins to fall, covering the land in a thick gray blanket. But the worst is yet to come. The eruption triggers a series of tsunamis, massive waves that race across the Aegean Sea. Within hours, the waves reach Crete, crashing into the island's northern coast. The Minoan ships are destroyed, their ports obliterated. The waves sweep inland, flooding fields and villages. In Knossos, the palace is damaged, its walls cracked by the force of the tremors. The Minoans are caught completely off guard. They have no way of understanding what is happening. To them, it feels like the end of the world. The gods have abandoned them, and their civilization is crumbling before their eyes. Is this civilization related with the legendary Atlantis? The sun is still obscured by ash, and the air is thick with the smell of sulfur. The Minoans are in shock, struggling to comprehend the scale of the disaster. In Knossos, the palace is in chaos. The ruling elite try to maintain order, but their authority is slipping. The people are terrified, convinced that the gods are punishing them. The tsunamis have receded, leaving behind a trail of destruction. The Minoans' once fertile fields are now covered in salt water, rendering them useless. The island's infrastructure is in ruins, and thousands are gone or missing. The Minoans' trade networks, the lifeblood of their civilization, have been severed. Without ships, they are cut off from the outside world. The ash continues to fall, and the Minoans are running out of food and water. The palace of Knossos, once a symbol of their power, is now a refuge for the desperate. The ruling elite have barricaded themselves in the inner chambers, trying to maintain control. But outside the palace, the people are growing restless. They blame the rulers for the disaster, accusing them of angering the gods. In the countryside, the situation is even worse. Villages have been wiped out, and survivors are struggling to rebuild. The Minoans' once thriving civilization is on the brink of collapse. But the story of the Minoans doesn't end here. Over time, their culture and achievements are absorbed by other civilizations, particularly the Mycenaeans, who rise to power in the aftermath of the disaster. The Minoans' art, architecture and maritime knowledge live on, influencing the development of ancient Greece and, ultimately, the Western world. Crete and the surrounding Aegean islands are relatively close to the regions where Plato's dialogues, which mention Atlantis, were written. Therefore, the Minoans may be part of the mysterious lost Atlantis.